I'm excited. I'm excited. This is an awesome, awesome knife. One of the coolest knives we've had on the channel came directly from Dirk Pinkerton. Unfortunately, it's been a horrible day of filming and it's taken me four hours to film this video so far because I've reshot it like eight times. So let's finally turn this around and take a look at this great, great knife from above. Yeah, it's so frustrating today. It's like the eighth time I've refilled this. I've had camera issues, noise issues, just video didn't come out the way I wanted. We are going to look at probably the most unique knife I've had come in the Dirk Pinkerton Knives Inversion. And what's really cool about this, this is not your average knife. This is a folding Picol. So uh, let's get this box out of the way. We're gonna bring the box back in because there's some stuff in it we gotta look back in, but let's get it out of the way. So we can talk about this incredibly unique knife. This is a folding Picol. Now, I've never handled a folding Picol before. I know that there's some out there. Emerson made one. I'm sure there's probably other, some, some other companies, but I love a Picol knife, which is typically a fixed blade. Um, and it's because it's a self-defense tool and it is very good for a, a self-defense role because there's not a lot of thought goes into it. It's simply stick and drag. It's like adding a claw to the back of your hand. So, um, this is a very good version of a Picol. This is done in an orange peel titanium S35 VN blade that's done in a modified Warrencliffe with a slight recurve to it. Really, really piercing tip. Um, it is a frame lock with multiple deployment methods. You have a, a brass deployment plate here that acts both as a thumb plate or thumb stud and a Emerson style wave feature. Um, it also, so you've got two deployments, thumb stud, wave, and it also has a flipper tab built in, which I don't think I would ever use because that puts it in this position, which I don't like. And that's just not the natural way it's going to come out of your pocket. Action on this, really, really good. And I have to say, I'm going to put a video here of me doing it. The deployment with the wave is absolutely awesome. It comes out of the pocket. It just is amazing coming out of the pocket. So uh, it has a lot of features to it that are pretty cool. So this is a pretty modular design, if you want my opinion. Uh, you can remove this ring. Say maybe it doesn't feel good in your pocket with the ring. I don't find that to be the case because uh, once deployed here, let's go ahead and do it. Once deployed with the ring, you've got that, that, that position there, and then you've got a spot for your thumb. Just feels awesome in hand. It definitely feels secure. Um, but with that being said, inside the box, oh, I'm knocking stuff around. Inside the box, are a couple extra options. If you don't like this, you can replace it with a thumb disc. I'm more, I'm more inclined to say I'm gonna stick with that. This, uh, this is a thumb disc style thumb plate. I don't know how it would wave, uh, but we'll definitely try it. And then a deeper carry pocket clip, which on something like this, I may or may not like. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I like this pocket clip. It already sits fairly deep in the pocket because I'm carrying this in the front part of my pocket. So let's get the box back out of the way. So in hand, in the intended grip, uh, in the intended grip in hand, when you've got it like this, incredibly comfortable. This was designed really well. You've got a spot that is secure here, a swell here where it is, feels really good. The ring just adds to the grip. There's no chance this is coming out of your hand. You can get your thumb up on this. This is very secure. You're not going to worry too much about sliding forward because you've got this ramped up area here where the, where the heel of the blade comes up. Um, so it definitely, definitely is comfortable and I think is very, very good for what it's designed for. Uh, the action on it, like I said, really, really good. So it snaps in and out of pocket. You saw that. Pocket clip is reversible, which is a cool thing because as far as deployment, not really going to matter. If you're a lefty, you just want this to work and it's going to work either way for you. You've got, you've got that. So uh, definitely dig that. And like I said, all the options. Now, this is definitely a little bit different. I'm going to say that this is kind of a learning curve, and I'm pointing this out right now because I don't want people to go out and grab this and, well, Mike said this was for self-defense and I need it. Now I'm going to grab it. And then, you know, we've had that whole thing. Train yourself because the thing is, if you're used to carrying one of these, which is a folding karambit, so I flip this so you can see, it's completely backwards. So it's it's counterintuitive. If you are carrying one of these and you've trained with one of these for a long time, jumping to one of these 
is kind of counterintuitive. You can see the cutting edge is completely reversed. Uh, so just a little point I wanted to point out. Let's get this out of the way. But as far as a design for what it is, I absolutely dig it. So I'm going to be teaching myself, well, not necessarily teaching myself, getting familiar with this. Um, like I said, I've, I've taken martial arts and I've taken enough self-defense courses and stuff like that throughout the military and, and on my own that I'm pretty sure I can get myself comfortable with this and I will be fine and comfortable carrying this. Most of it's going to be deployment and, and, and relearning some movements. So I will say that there's... I'm not going to say it's negative, but there's some things about this that I definitely want to point out before you guys jump into it, because these are only available on Dirk's site. There's 200 of them. They're like $290. So it's a pricey thing. And you might just to give you an informed decision. So um, right after you guys hear from a video sponsor, I'm going to point out some things about this that might not be for everyone. I just want to acknowledge Doll Strong Knives for sponsoring this video. They are offering a broad selection of knives that will fit the needs of everyone from the at-home foodie that just putters in the kitchen all the way up to the professional chef level kind of quality. They've got a broad selection of every type of knife you would need for any situation from choppers all the way down to your fine detail pairing knives and things like that. So go check them out. They offer some of the best looking knives as well. This is part of their Shogun series. This is an amazing knife. Go check them out. Support the channel. You know that your kitchen knives are the knives you're going to use the most. Why not get good ones? So now let's turn this around and get back to the video. So a couple little things that I just want to point out before you guys jump into a purchase. None of these are negative. I have really found no negatives about this knife. For its purpose, I find it to be just about perfect. Like I don't find any negative issues with the knife. I will say I, it, it's a cool knife and, uh, and things like that. I don't want you guys to jump into this just because it's unique. I want you to think about this. Uh, if you want to add it to your collection just because you like unique knives, by all means. But this is a definite limited purpose knife. This is not a knife you're going to carry to open boxes and things like that. It's not meant for that purpose. You probably could do some with it in this grip if you wanted to. But as far as I'm concerned, this knife is not a knife that you're going to carry for like everyday use. It's not something you're going to cut apples with. It's not something you're open boxes with. It's not something that is your average EDC. So some people are going to balk at the price too. These are $290. I think it's well worth it, especially considering you've got additional hardware, the amount of work that went into some of this. You've got a removable ring. There's a lot of things that had to be done on this. And just the fact that it's so well done um, does not limit that. Uh, I absolutely love it for what it is. I just want you to make an informed decision. I don't want you to grab this. I don't want you to be like, oh, Mike said I could carry it as self-defense. Like I said, train with anything you're going to carry. Uh, but like I said, if you want something unique to add your collection, that's just something that's going to get people's attention. I'm going to be like, hey, I got a folding knife with the blades on it backwards. This might be the knife for you. Is it a yup or a nup? It's a yup. I have found very little negative. Like I said, the only things I've mentioned after in this segment is, is just the things that are going to be limiting factors to you for a knife carry. So uh, yeah, it's definitely up. It is probably one of the coolest, like I've said, I've seen that other companies have, it's probably one of the coolest folding knives I've seen in a very, very long time. So let's turn us around to some final thoughts to send you out about your day. Oh guys, it feels so good to finally be through this. I've filmed this so many times, seven times. This is the seventh revision of this video. This is an awesome, awesome knife. Um, the limiting factors on it, there is no negative on the knife that I found. Like I, as far as being a purpose built tool, absolutely perfect. If that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a day to day EDC, no, it's not for you, but I'm going to tell you right now, I love it. It's going to spend a lot of time in my pocket. I'm going to do other videos about it. I'm going to test it. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to teach myself all the different ways of deployment and, and get comfortable with it. Cause I think it's a great, great self-defense tool. So guys, that's it on this one. Sponsor links down below. You saw an ad. Two of them have discounts. Coffee Mare Coffee Tempered Trail. There's also Donk's Doll Strong Knives down there. I have got affiliate links with most of the major vendors down below and an Amazon store. If you're going to do any shopping, use those links. If you're going to buy any knives, use those links. Unfortunately, you have to go to Dirk Pinkerton's site for this. I don't make any money on this. I'm just doing this because Dirk's a good guy and he sent me the knife. Um, I also have coupon codes that work at a bunch of different vendors. It's crazy sharp. All one word. It works at a bunch of 40% at Beyond EDC, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, Ferrum Forge Knifeworks, and Katsu Knives. 
10% off at those, 40% off beyond EDC. There's a membership down below. I do a lot of different stuff for those guys. There are uh, giveaways that I do. I do exclusive content and it has a premium tier sharpening tutorial series and a private Discord. I also have made a public Discord that you guys can use and just join and hang out. Please start using it. There's only 22 people in there. I've got 13,000 subscribers. So guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.